I'm shocked. shocked. Would you cash that out? They to have not offered you. Yeah. It's what crazy. the craziest check I in have. history? Yeah, you know, a billion dollars. Of what? Did, you, did I hear that right? He was offered a billion dollars for his YouTube channel. You got offered a B, bro, because it's so much money you make. It just tons. I don't know what to do with it. But no, I had this idea when I was like 18. I was like, when I made a couple thousand dollars in a month, I was like, well, what if I just give it away and just try to make a little bit more than a couple thousand? A couple grand turned into ten, turned into a hundred, turned into a million. All the time, people say, when should I start? Investing. When should I start giving? When should I start saving? When well, you're broke. Stories like this, guys like this, making 2,000 a month, now 2 million a month. They're giving you the game. The question for you is, are you actually willing to do something about it? What's cracking, everybody? Money smart guy, Matt Zapali here. Hailing to you from Dallas, Texas. And in this reaction episode, we've got Mr. Beast. Now, I'll tell you this. I was just talking to my team here. I've never watched a Mr. Beast episode. I've only heard of his reputation. That's correct. I've never watched a Mr. Beast episode. I also understand that he's got 105 million people following him on YouTube. His main channel, he's got many other channels too as well. And this guy was offered some money, some ungodly, I think we're going to discover it here in this uh, reaction video. And uh, we're going to talk about the innovation today, not only of social media, but the young generation. Uh, a lot of people here looking at social media as a way to be YouTubers and influencers and celebrity today is just reserved for Hollywood. Common Joes can be celebrities. Celebrities is more expansive today than just people who are in the movies or on TV or on radio. Today, it's social media influencers creating celebrity. So let's take a look at what Mr. Beast here has to say on the flagrant podcast here hosted by Andrew Schultz. So let's see what he, Mr. Beast here has to say on the flagrant podcast. Let's check this out. <laughs> yeah. You have the most brilliant way of saying that you make lots of money. I agree. But how? How, <laughs> wait, wait, how do I, I do like it? it? <laughs> He's like, go on. Yes, it is. <laughs> no, you say, I make all this money, and then you're like, but I spend it all. Yeah. But you still get to say that you make it. Yeah, yeah. So Agreed. no one can really fuck with you when it comes to making the money. Well, I don't spend the money that's to, you know, for that reason, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. I guess that is true. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It does make it easier when people are like, do you make a couple million a month? I can be like, yeah, because I just spend it all. So it does make it exactly, easier. Whereas if I did it, if I was like, oh yeah, I just make a couple million and that was the end, then I'd just seem like a douchebag. Exactly. Mm. Yeah, so I do agree. It's pretty interesting. You know, uh, one of the things that a lot of people often think about is, you know, what's the point of making a lot of money? Well, that's why it's called currency. Currency is just like an electrical current or like an ocean current or a river or a stream. Money has to flow. It just can't be stuck, stagnant, not going anywhere. So I uh, haven't heard exactly the money that he's making, but if he says he's making $2 million a month, but he's constantly reinvesting that back into his business because he's creating new episodes and investing in new content to make his channel that much more known. Well, hey, uh, the funny thing is here is how many jobs is he creating? Uh, how many people is he blessing because of his dream, his vision, his goal? Guy looks like young 20s, young dude. I don't know exactly how old he is, but salute to him already for... Not only just cracking the seven figure squad, but he's well on his way making seven figures, a couple seven figures a month just through his one YouTube channel. Yeah, but I never really thought about it that way. I did. Thank you. You're like Adam Sandler in that way. <laughs> well, no, you're like a multi millionaire, but you're good. like one of the guys still. Oh, uh, you know I like what I'm saying? Okay. Like, usually, like really rich people, you know, we want to eat them. <laughs> By the way, when you're growing up, how did you think rich people were? Were they jerks? Were they arrogant? Were they drug dealers? Were they athletes? How did you think that millionaires were supposed to be when you were, were around them? And at the same time too as well, did you think you ever get to a million bucks? Because today, just consider this stat. According to Credit Suisse's annual report that over 5.2 million people became millionaires in 2021. So becoming a million today is not a big deal. Matter of fact, for those of you that want to put your kids in private schools, when you want to live in the wealthiest neighborhoods and go travel and eat the best foods and have access and financial freedom. Well, guess what? If you add all that up, chances are you're asking for a million dollar income. So you got two options. It's either you grow your vision and you grow your capacity and increase your bandwidth or you shrink your dreams. You settle and you just say, quote unquote, content. The choice is yours. Okay, so you make millions and millions and millions of dollars. Who cares, right? Yeah, sure, I make money. Because it's so much money you make. Just tons, I don't know what to do with it. You don't even know what to do with it. No greed. I know exactly what to do. By the way, if you don't have a plan for what to do with it, it's gonna flow out. That's when the IRS takes more money than they need to. That's when people start ripping you off. If you have 
a plan to make money, you better have something, a plan to know what to do with it when it gets there. And God bless this guy for his opportunity and God bless this guy for having a, a massive YouTube following, but you got to have a plan for money. Otherwise, money just goes away and then you're going to regret not having a plan for that money because it's then unaccounted for. So it's just so much fucking money, okay? And then you're giving it away constantly. Yep. Right? And then more is coming in yep. and giving it away. It's basically what I did. Like, I just had this theory Bernie like- Adolf. What? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, illegal. hopefully the Ponzi scheme never implodes. Gotcha. Like, okay. you know, Ponzi schemes are great up until they just go bust. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, um, but no, I had this idea when I was like 18, I was like, when I made a couple thousand dollars a month, I was like, well, what if I just give it away and just try to make a little bit more than a couple thousand? And then I just was like, oh, that worked. And then I did it again. Yeah. And I've done it every month ever yeah. since. And I'm just like, oh, well, and it just awesome. works. And it's like a couple grand turned into 10, turned into 100, turned into a million. So is that how he gets everybody to watch his... Gotcha. So, hey, listen, you know, what you do with the least will then be magnified with what you do with the most. So if this guy started doing it when he was small, 2000 a month, imagine what he's doing right now in terms of giving away a $2 million a month. And so all the time people say, when should I start investing? When should I start giving? When should I start saving? Well, you're broke. Because all money is going to do eventually when you start making more of it, then it will eventually expose what you've done right and also expose what you've done wrong. I'm <laughs> shocked. Would you cash that out? They to have not offered you. Yeah, it's well, crazy. the craziest check I in have, history. I have been What's offered a number? pretty crazy one. What's what is it? Um, like, there's people not like official term sheets, but you know, like people that would actually like be able to afford it. Like, yeah, you know, a billion dollars if we could own the channel and the companies and stuff. What? Did, you, did I hear that right? He was offered a billion dollars for his YouTube channel. <laughs> Listen, back in 08, 09, I created a website called moneysmartradio.com and that's where I just upload my, you know, I was on WAIT 850 in Chicago and I just upload all my financial content and radio shows that would end up as podcasts and I sold that for like 12,000 bucks. And I thought it was big, you know, King Kong when I did that. And this guy's talking about selling his YouTube channel all of his intellectual property and ownership rights of, everything he's built up and can probably, um, most likely continue to produce in the future. A billion dollars for a young 20 year old for YouTube, for creating an online presence, for being a basically an online celebrity, which is a real celebrity in many, many people's eyes. A billion dollars offered. So I'm wondering why he's sitting like this with his hands across his back. I don't think he took the offer. Let's continue. Like that, like, and I'm like, oh, that sounds enticing, but <laughs> I don't know if I want to work for my YouTube channel. Yeah, that's um, right. But wow. I, yeah, wow. sure. but you've been offered a wow. billion dollars for your YouTube channel. Well, with all the companies, yeah, but not like again, not a term sheet, but like wow. people who would, if I if I took it serious, they would have been like, okay, oh. let's figure it out. Would that make you the youngest billionaire? Would that beat Zuckerberg? Uh, I think he was. Yeah, I think Zuck became a billionaire at twenty seven years old. So if this guy's twenty four, he'd probably potentially be the youngest billionaire. Self-made billionaire. Yeah, because yeah. there are a lot of people who are handed down wealth. And Kylie Jenner, yeah. but... Yeah, If yeah. you count her. She was 21, but outside of her, if you Google it, it's like some guy's 26. Wow. Yeah. So you you got offered a B, bro. Basically. Yeah. Passing, but, and I, 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 I could have pushed for something around there. Streaming company or... I, pushed can't, for I can't go any further than that, but... I mean, I feel pretty confident someone will... I mean, just look at it. Like, I told you the Beast Burger number. Good for him. But it's just a time thing. Like, if you sit channels, for 10 years, it'll him. be five bill. Or... Hopefully. Okay, so so let me let me let me uh, let me process that real quick. He got offered a billion dollars or close to it for his YouTube channel. So the reason why he didn't want to do it is because he didn't want to work for his YouTube channel. It's interesting. His freedom was worth more than just a billion bucks. Okay, that's number one. Number two, um, if they're offering him a billion now, I would think that he's like, well, what are you going to offer me five years from now or ten years from now? So, for example. Um, I'm nowhere near close to being offered to be, but uh, our company was just acquired um, a couple months ago, back in June, and uh, we were in Paris and Monaco. We couldn't, you know, putting the deal together. And anyway, uh, Patrick but David, our CEO, finally finalized the deal, and uh, we came back and they offered us a nice seven-figure check for our shares of our company. And they're like, you know, I looked at my wife, looked at my partners, looked at uh, looked at our bank accounts and statements, and I said, "Sweetheart, do we need the money right now?" She goes, "No, it's the benefit of saving money." And I said, you know what, roll it. We don't need it right now because we just got acquired by the largest privately held company in all of Texas. 
And according to Goldman Sachs, we're one of the top five privately held companies in the United States that uh, they're trying to entice potentially, I don't know, speculation that uh, might entertain Wall Street one day via IPO. Again, I don't know, but it's good to know that we are offered X amount of dollars, very handsome uh, coming from a kid that make $20,000 a year as a sergeant in the Marines, to know that a business enterprise, a business decision years ago and working to it and through it over the years finally culminated into this type of offer. Now, again, it's nothing close to a Mr. Beast type of B check. It was an M check. And um, I was delighted with that. I was happy with that. And I'm just excited now because if they're willing to offer me this, as they were offering this guy a billion bucks, imagine what's going to be five, 10 years. So he continues to push through and build his presence. I wonder where this guy's going to be in five to 10 years. I wonder what his vision is. More, but yeah, <laughs> what's your number right now? Uh, it's so crazy. I don't even want to say it because it's just, I'm thinking where I want to be. Like if we have a mobile game company and I can just, you know, we got hundred million people playing it and we got a thousand physical beast burgers and Feastables is in 20,000 stores. And we so have then it's not stuff. crazy. So say, it. what's the number Come that's going to take? Spit it out. 10 bill? It's going to sound dumb, but yeah. like probably like 10 billion, 20 yeah. billion. At least. Like that. I, yeah. I thought yeah. 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 hundred million people well, playing I mean, the yeah, mobile like, game. Yeah, but that's where, if they give me the money now, but obviously in the future, I think we could be worth way more. Yeah. But not that that's like the end goal, but it's just- Then you know what's crazy? Like, You're worth more than WhatsApp. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, uh, that's your number and it's reasonable. But that but was not, not Can you let me fucking do this? No, one? because- <laughs> that's not Give five years, yes. Yeah. We're going to do a Netflix show eventually. We've just been busy. I think after we do that, that's where it'll be interesting. Wow. Well, listen, you know, this guy has got me intrigued. I'm just- I'm just, uh, I'm just shocked by the opportunities we have in this day and age for the common Joe, just like this guy. Most likely started from scratch, being in his young 20s, making $2 million a month for his YouTube videos, giveaways, blessing his friends, people that watch his channel, making an impact in his way, and that his success is not taking away success from anybody else. See, oftentimes people think that the only way you make money is by first taking money out of my pocket. No, it's just not the way success is. Success is, and by the way, that's a lot of way people think in the hood. But you got to understand when you spread your vision and you spread your wings and you actually educate yourself about money and finance and economics, you start understanding the world of entrepreneurship and free enterprise and the right structures of capitalism. You can understand that me or you winning does not come at the cost of you or me losing. The only way we lose and we fail is because we made a mistake, is because your success is not my failure. Your success is also my success, our success. We can be successful in this world, in this day and age together without the fear of one of us losing. Now, you can be a jerk about it. You can create the wrong enemies about it and you create enemies with your friends, but there's so much abundance out there I mean, if you look at this guy, I, listen, 100 some million subscribers. I've never watched one of his episodes. I still have not run across. I remember years ago, uh, 2008, 2007, I remember Mark Victor Hansen, who wrote the book, Chicken Soup of the Soul. And he's got the Guinness Book of World Records for the most amount of books ever sold. I just launched my book, Faith Made Million, and became a bestseller on Amazon. He's got the Guinness Book of World Records for the most amount of books ever sold, a billion books Sold, and you ask the audience, how many of you have read Chicken Soup of the Soul? And I tell you this, not all the hands went up. So he goes, put the hands down. Who has not read Chicken Soup of the Soul? A bunch of hands went up too as well. You know what he said? Great, that means we still have a market. Folks, if you're watching this right now, you got to the end of this video, I just want to let you know, you still have a market. There's still an opportunity out for you to go out there and make your mark, make a difference. It doesn't have to be relegated to a job. If you don't like what you make in a job, you're financially overwhelmed and underappreciated and underpaid and not happy, guess what? Stories like this, guys like this, taking a leap of faith on a whim, making 2,000 a month, now 2 million a month, and it's just not reserved for guys like him. You can go out there, you can create, you can innovate. I'm pretty sure he's got a bunch of videos out there that shows his blueprint of how he's doing it, his breakdown of his equipment, his studio, YouTube community today is very sharing because they want to show you this stuff. And here's the thing though, they're not afraid of creating competitors. Why? Because most people watch it, but they'll never do it. <laughs> and sadly, for those of you that's out there watching this, you want to be financially ahead, you want to be financially successful, you want to be financially independent. Well, the question for you is watching YouTube channel like ours, watching financial self-help business 
type of channels, they're giving you the game. The question for you is, are you actually going to do something about it? That being said, please check out these other two reaction videos and uh, let us know what your thoughts are. You agree with me? You don't agree with me? You're enamored by uh, Mr. Beast here and what he's doing? Are you excited about your financial future, what you can do to yourself? Please put it in the comment section below. If you watch this video and haven't done so already, please consider hitting like. If you watch a couple of our other videos and you haven't yet subscribed to YouTube channel, please consider hitting subscribe. Follow us here on YouTube and Rumble. And make sure you hit that notification bell to be alerted the next time we upload our next episode. That being said, from Dallas, Texas, I'm a money smart guy. Until we meet again, continue to live smart, continue to live smart, and be money smart today.